नमस्ते दिस गुरु पूर्णिमा विच इज थर्टींथ जुलाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू लेट एस पे ए ट्रिब्यूट टू वेद व्यासा गुरु पूर्णिमा इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड व्यास पूर्णिमा सो वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू इज वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड गुरु पूर्णिमा यूसिंग इंडिक एस्ट्रोनॉमी नॉलेज गिवन बाय पराशर ऋषि पराशर ऋषि वॉज वेद व्यासास पापा हु हैड कंपोस्ट लॉट ऑफ नॉलेज Uh, one of them is uh, parashara pora shastra so what we are going to do is understand the uh, astronomical perspective of guru purnima and uh, towards that let us try to understand uh, some of the planetary configurations through past couple of days so what you see here is a circular zodiac represented in a square so what is a zodiac zodiac is 12 constellations along the ecliptic in the east west direction and this zodiac which are the 12 constellations starting from first second third so totally we have 12 constellations represented in a square uh, this is done in uh, south indian astronomy indic astronomy this kind of representation so this planetary objects the sun moon earth and other planets these are the observations as uh, done from a star in the south so one of the stars let's assume that is agastya so as seen from agastya how would the various uh, planets appear now the objects are scaled to same size because if we don't Uh, suppose that we are going to show the sun with this size the moon would be just a dot and we wouldn't be able to understand that so we need to understand that nothing is stationary including the stars or the sun in the zodiac so hence therefore when everything is moving we can use reference point as anything including earth or in other way we can say that we are looking at the relative positions of the planetary objects with respect to earth each of these 12 squares so this is one square similarly each of these square represents a zodiac sign so here this earth this sun is shown in mithuna this square is mithuna or gemini it's at 22 degrees approximately 22 degrees and the moon is in the constellation of tula or libra at 20 degree note that each of this square is further is divided into 30 degrees and i have put these lines at 10 degree and 20 degree now let us try to see the next day which is 10th july 2022 and i have kept as a reference 9th july so that we can see the changes in the degree now here you can see that the sun has moved 1 degree note the distance from in this grid as well as this grid so the advantage of placing the grid is so that we can identify the minute movements so the sun is in 23 degrees and the moon is in moved from tula to vrushchika so tula is the uh, libra and vrishchika is the scorpio and in the scorpio it has moved to 4 degrees so here this is 10 degree and this is approximately 4 degree and this is the moment of the moon now i want you to look that see that the observer is on the island this island which is represented as green the observer is here on the middle of this green island right and you can see that the moon is illuminated by the sun and uh, the part of the moon which is facing the sun is lit it appears white in color and the other part the where there is shadow of the moon where the sunlight doesn't hit it's shown as black now for an observer here you can note that he won't be able to see the complete this part of the illuminated moon however for the observer he will be able to see 
this part of the illuminate uh, this part of the shadow of the moon so therefore the moon would appear this is a side view but if you are on this edge you will be seeing a circular moon and a part of the shadow of this moon here this side now on the 10th july since the moon has moved further again you wouldn't be able for an observer here he wouldn't be able to see this part of the illuminated uh, moon however this part of the shadow moon he will be able to see and this part here he will be able to see a slightly bigger moon on 10th july now on 11th july again you can see that the moon has further moved one degrees and the uh, the sun has moved further one degree and the moon has moved 15 degree from 4 degree vrushchika here till it has moved somewhere here approximately 20 degree here so it has moved 15 degree and then the observer again he will be able to see a uh, more of the lit area and here a small part of the shadow he will be able to see however the size will be bigger so this is 19th vrushchika on 12th july 2022 again the sun has moved further 25 mithuna and the moon has moved to a new constellation which is sagittarius and sagittarius is called dhanu and specifically from the panchanga we can see that the moon would be four degrees in the dhanu uh, at india time india uh, a specific time okay now uh, what you can see here is that uh, now the observer on the earth would be able to see approximately the complete moon it's the full moon approximately full moon right so this is on 12th july 2022 on 13th july 2022 the sun has moved further 26 in mithuna and then uh, the moon has moved to 19 degrees in dhanu which is approximately the uh, second part right 20 degree here now you, what you can see that here the moon is completely opposite to the sun and therefore the observer on the earth would be able to see the complete uh, lit part of the moon and that is why it is full moon and the Guru Purnima happens on the Ashada, uh, Ashada, month of Ashada. What that means is that during this complete day of 13th July, the moon would be traversing, especially today, 13th July, the moon would be traversing two of the nakshatras or the two of the asterisms in the Dhanu constellation. These are the stars called Purva Shada and Uttara Shada. So since the moon has touched up two stars purvashada and uttarashada it is called ashada so therefore uh, this is uh, guru Pur ashada guru purnima ashada purnima is called guru purnima now what is the importance of ashada guru purnima is that if you observe the sun the sun would take 32 days to span across this 30 degrees right so when I earlier said that its move, sun has moved 26 degree, it is not exactly so. It is the 26th day of the moon, uh, 26th day of the sun in the Mithuna. So that's what it means. And on uh, uh, Ashadha, what happens is the sun appears to be moving slower with respect to the earth, with reference to the earth. So that is why we would see that the uh, duration of the day around the month of june july is the highest so that is the uh, reason now what this has the significance that during guru purnima if you are doing meditation the sun represents the atma and since the sun is moving slower uh, you would be able to have a more keener uh, medita meditation possibility more deeper meditation possibility. It's not only with respect to the uh, sun here. For any planets which appears to be moving uh, slower, it will have a higher effect on that specific uh, faculty of the mind or that faculty of the any uh, physical or uh, any uh, observations. Now, 
what we will try to understand is let us see how scientific is the solar calendar now for example given a specific date one person does not understand know what is the date today is it possible to derive the date based on gregorian calendar uh, unless there is a specific past memory uh, or a calendar it is not possible however here you can see that if one observes the degree of the sun in a specific constellation he can always derive the calendar so as per the solar calendar it is 26 mithuna and uh, in mithuna uh, since the sun takes 32 days to traverse uh, it is uh, mithuna has 32 Uh, days in the mithuna month uh, the reason why uh, july has 31 days is because uh, there was a king uh, julius caesar and uh, he felt that uh, the name the month is named after him therefore the number of days should be higher so that is why they had kept 31 here now uh, this is the uh, scientific uh, thing of the solar uh, calendar now it is possible to identify the name of the in, in terms of lunar lunar month we will be cal calling it ashada because the moon the full moon that day has traversed the nakshatras uh, purvashada and uttarashada and it is always possible to identify the tithi of the moon uh, from the angular distance between the sun and the moon for example approximately one can keep for two uh, squares it is 5 tithi so 5 10 and this is 15 right so this is approximately 15 tithi and it is uh, full moon note the simplicity of derivation of lunar based on solar calendar and vice versa now the images created in this uh, presentation are done using sanskrit coding environment called sharda parashar uh, created by me at uh, shardula ai.com and this language has been learned in 10 countries now what here what we do here is uh, we don't have generally when we learn any software we have two things to learn one is the domain knowledge and one is the uh, language syntax itself now here what we have done is the keywords itself is based upon the uh, parashara hora shastra or the surya siddhanta so therefore when one learns the uh, keywords one automatically learns this domain knowledge of uh, desha desha or the astronomy as well as uh, architecture now this has been learned in 10 countries and now you can i hope that with this presentation one will have a deeper understanding of what we have received through uh, parashar maharshi father of vedavyasa and with this i would like to end my tribute to vedavyasa and parashar rishi namaste